hi guys welcome back to another exciting cooking moment in the easy kitchen so today we're going to make very simple and easy Ghana chicken veggies pie and so bolo drink stay tuned Audio jump. welcome back so let's start baking first of all I'm going to use four cups of all-purpose flour and then I'm going to add one tablespoon full of baking powder to the flour if you're not so comfortable with baking powder you can actually take it out or use just a teaspoon and then I'm going to add one tablespoon full of ground nutmeg and then the next step is to add one medium sized onions that I've sliced into thin slices this gives a very nice taste and smell. It takes away the flowery smell, okay? And then I'm adding just a teaspoon of salt. Mix everything together thoroughly. And then the next step is to add my butter. So I'm adding four bars of butter or 452 grams of butter. And then I'm going to use my masher to mix everything together thoroughly, okay? You don't want to work too much with your hands to make it warm so you have to use a masher but if you don't have the masher go ahead and use your your hand after you're going to put them in the refrigerator so what i'm doing next is to divide my dough into two okay because i'm going to set them aside in the refrigerator and this is the kind of consistency that you want it should be able to break apart easily but come together easily also So now I'm going to cover it and set it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. So my dough is in the refrigerator so let me go ahead and prepare my filling. So I'm adding just about a tablespoon full of oil to my pan and this is my ground chicken. If you don't have ground chicken you can actually cook your chicken breast or any part of the chicken and mince the meat and then add your vegetables. It's as simple as that. And then now I'm adding just about one medium sized onion and then a teaspoon of adobo, a teaspoon of garlic powder, remember it's chicken, you have to spice it up, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of ginger powder, stir it up and let it cook for about a minute, and then go ahead and add a teaspoon of chili powder. I'm adding just about a teaspoon of salt also and then I'm going to allow it to cook for about a minute and then add my curry powder. I want that taste, that's that nice unique taste from it. And if you follow me, you know I love pepper. So I'm just adding just a teaspoon of hot pepper. Be careful you don't make it too hot though. So now I'm just going to add my frozen mixed vegetables. You can use any type of vegetables you like to use. And then my green bell peppers. So this I'm going to stir and let everything cook between 5 to 8 minutes. This is highly optional but if you want your filling to thicken just add water to 1 tablespoon full of flour and add it to your filling. Stir it up and it will thicken so it doesn't fall apart easily. But if you don't want to do it you can totally take this out. So now my filling is all done, I'm going to set it aside for it to cool. So now I'm going to work on my dough. Okay, I'm just going to spread some flour onto my board and then use my cutter to cut my dough into manageable sizes. Make sure you add some flour to your rolling pins anytime you're going to use them to roll your dough so that you don't stick to the, the pin. Okay, so the next step is to use your cutter 
your pie cutter but you don't if you don't have your pie cutter you just use any round bowl to cut out the shape of your pies from your dough and you should be getting something like this do not roll your dough so flat but make sure it's a little thick so you don't break apart so easy so I'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of the dough so I'm done cutting out my dough so this is just one egg that I'll be using as the egg wash so now I'm just going ahead to fill my dough up with all my fillings and then I'll use the egg wash to brush the edges so that they will be able to close and seal up very easily so after you fold your dough you just press the edges with your hands or your fork any what anything you want to use so that you close up and this is what you're supposed to be getting don't worry about the rough edges they'll all smooth out i'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my dough with my fillings So I'm done with the rest of the pie so the next step is for me to poke holes into the pies to make sure that the insides also cook properly and then egg wash them and then I'm going to put them in the oven and bake at 380 degrees between 45 and, and an hour baking solely depends on your oven so my pies are in the oven now I'm going to go ahead and prepare my sobolo or cereal drinks I've thoroughly washed my sorrel leaves, make sure you wash them very well and then I'm going to add water to the point that I would like my drink to be okay it was about two liters of water but you can add as much water as you want and what I sorrel drink without ginger I'm adding considerable amount of ginger to it and then one lemon that I've cut into pieces and I'm going to add one orange that I also cut into pieces the trick here is if you don't want to add sugar to your drink you can add a lot of orange and pineapples and I'm adding my cloves and then one tablespoon full of cinnamon powder if you don't have the powder you can use the sticks stir them up and cover and let them boil for about 15 minutes After 15 minutes, use your masher to mash everything together. And then when it's cool, you set it on fire and when it's cool, you just drain your drink. Make sure you drain it thoroughly so you don't have residue in your cups or in your glasses when you're drinking them. What I'm going to do now is to add one cup of pure sugar cane sugar to the drink. You can use honey if you want to. Okay, so my now my pies are well baked. So this is my pies. Look how beautiful and it tastes so delicious. And this is my sobolo drink. So let me go ahead and break apart the pie for you to see the inside. And when it's cooked, it should be able to break apart easily. And these are the insides of my pie. I mean, look at how nice it is. And it should be able to flick easily also when it's well cooked. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And please hit the notification button. Have a great and wonderful day. Bye.